Hey everyone, it's Cynthia. Welcome back to Inspiro. And as you can tell from the title, it is another piercing video today. I recently went and finally swapped out my anti-tragus for a ring. So I vlogged the entire process. I think what I'm going to do is show you the uncut clip of the whole swapping process so you can actually see my reactions the entire time. It wasn't too bad. It was pretty uncomfortable. I got my piercing a year ago and it's still not fully healed. I've just been pushing Deacon, my piercer here at Wonderland Studios. Hi Deacon, thank you for being the best. By the way, if you're in the Kitchener, Waterloo area, I would highly recommend going to Wonderland Studios for all of your piercings. Don't go to Perfect Image. Don't go on a cheap Wednesday. I've been there, I've done that. I will leave a playlist of all of my piercings and my whole journey in this info tab and down below. Anyway, yeah, I just kept pushing Deacon to swap it out to a ring and he was like, okay, come back in three months and if it still looks good, then we'll do it. So it was definitely a bit uncomfortable. It's also just like an awkward place in the ear. So let's just jump into it. I'm gonna roll the clip. Let's go. And it's Deacon. Oh, your favorite. Awkward. <laughs> awkward walking in. Doing this again. <laughs> hey, internet. It's me. Uh, I'm excited. Um, or, you know. Finally the day that so we're changing it into something more aesthetic, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Y'all jinx. <laughs> what I do is just kind of start by taking this little disc. Here. With my gigantic fucking hands. And these scissors that I bought. They're because... not scissors, man. <laughs> okay, these are Pliers. Not, they're not scissors. It's called brass lined hemostats. Yes. Very good for if you want to switch out seamless rings. Yeah. Especially. Yeah. Good investment. Especially things that are gold. Yes. Because basically the brass lines are weaker than gold. And so if anything gets damaged, it's the tool. Not the jewelry. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So this is one of the reasons that here at Wonderland Studios we prefer to use threadless jewelry because it's so much easier to work with. Mostly because... This is not. This is not threadless, this is threaded. What's the difference? Um, so they're both kind of based on the idea of internal threading where you have something that goes like inside the bar. Right. Uh, with threadless stuff, we basically just have like a little pin that kind of like holds everything together, creates a little bit of spring tension, gotcha. and these pieces here screw together. Yes, I remember that. If you guys are new here, I got this pierced at Exotics when I was still in Toronto. By Mr. Six? By Mr. Six, and it's been probably a year now. Almost exactly a year. And I'm a little worried. <laughs> I feel like it's like 99% healed, but like no one's touched it since I got it pierced. So it like feels weird, you know? Yeah. Just trying to get in here. It's a little bit <laughs> of a tricky bitch. So what's going on with Cynthia Dan? <laughs> You're trying to distract me. I feel like I can't watch this anymore. This is scary. It's getting so bad. What's new? I launched a store where I'm selling thrifted clothes, which has been fun. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Yes. So I have been talking about doing it for a while, so it's cool that everyone's super supportive. It's a shit ton of work that I didn't think. Like I knew it was gonna be a lot of work, but like not this much work. Who would have thought opening up a <laughs> business is going to be right? so difficult? I don't know, me maybe. I would have that. Right. Wow, it's out. I haven't Whoa, seen my ear like this What the fuck are you going to do so there? Long. What's rule number one? Not touching. Uh, That's why I went like that and then I was yeah. like, nope, you don't yell at me. I will. I will yell at you if you, even if you don't do it. Just cause... <laughs> I mean, it's not really yell. I'll give you a, a, a stern, stern talking a stern to. Talking to. to. Can I? Start an angry letter writing campaign. Oh god. 
And now we're taking out the hoop from my helix. With what? With these brass line. Brass <laughs> line. Something something that aren't scissors. Like something. <laughs> something stuffs. So this guy is Whoa, actually. Wow, but you're so barren. Sorry. Yeah. So this is actually from BBLA too, I do not. Oh cool. The do scissors? No, they're not from BBLA. Those are from industrial strength. <laughs> I lost you. Oh the hoop. Little, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Everything except for what's in my lobes is from BBLA. Yeah. Oh god, this is like the moment. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I feel like it's more nerve wracking to swap jewelry because it takes longer than when you just get a piercing because you know the needle will just go through, you know? This yeah. is like. I don't think I'm ever gonna be one of those people on YouTube that like changes their own jewelry. Like, no, no. Yeah, that's not good of you. <laughs> it's like coming up next on Inspiro Instagram. <laughs> I try to change my own right. earring for 36 <laughs> hours. <laughs> Me crying. <laughs> like, this is the worst. I mean, like, it's kind of gone through some phases, you were saying, too, eh? Where it's, yeah. like, it's really, really happy, and... Sometimes it's just not happy. Not really happy, so this is kind of our little... Our little test run. No pain, no gain. Just kidding. I mean, it's not really much pain, right? Yeah, it's just uncomfortable. Oh, is it done? Pretty much. Oh, done. shit. We're gonna clean it up a little bit. That's know. awesome. <laughs> I feel like this is what people have to do anyway when they want to put a hoop here. Because, like, I don't think I'm even ready right now to make it any snugger than this. <laughs> Just from, like, no. how close it is to you. You've been harassing the hell out of me for how long? How long have you known each other? <laughs> I don't know. About a year, probably, since, yeah. like, day one. Yeah, since I moved back to Kitchener. I was like, oh, look at this studio. Yay. So cool that we could switch it to this so it's no longer that barbell that you guys know I hate. But still a long Tell us ways. how you really feel. <laughs> <laughs> Here for this minimal ear game, you know? But a ways to go to get this into a snug, snug, snug hoop. Let's see. It's so big. I don't even know if I like it more than the barbell. But I'm sure it'll grow on me. Those are my initial thoughts. Well, everything always kind of looks like the biggest that will I know. ever look right off the hop, right? It still looks cool though. I just don't know how people get it so snug in their Pinterest photos because it like literally just hugs the ear. Heels, like, that like that's it's just like that, fully that, healed. Yeah, that's the thing. Like when you see. You know, this is like our, you know, uh, the more you know announcement. Like when you see those <laughs> photos on like like Pinterest yes. or you know like the the Maria Tash stuff, a lot of the times like right. like they're really 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 well healed piercings. So it's like I want tiny hoop, and then right. I just dash all of your hopes and dreams. <laughs> but I've learned that, and that's okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, we have to put the heels. Yeah, on. so we're also gonna do some other shit. Okay, this one should be easier because this one is healed, hopefully. Yeah. I know you won't let me take it. You can take this off with, yeah, fingers. Because it just pulls apart. From the back, you know? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, but I mean, I'll- Should I do it? No, I mean, I'll find out here. Because you don't want me to touch it. Like, it, like, it's like one of those hinges that just opens and closes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, there's no way, I feel like that could that like won't ever fit into the anti-triggers. No, God, no. Well, like, it's so like, small. Look at, like it's like yeah, because this is inch. made for like quarter inch, maybe. 
Tiesto one day. Telesto, it's not a DJ. Telesto, <laughs> Tiesto. I've been looking at Oshiga and Lollapalooza tickets all day, so it's my mindset. I'll get all this little bit of hair out of the way. Yes. Yeah, fuck your shit. <laughs> True. <laughs> Yay! And that's how easy it should be if your piercings are healed. I mean, it should even probably be easier than that. But yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> yes. The experience was pretty good. Like, I feel like it was uncomfortable. I would say on a pain scale, if you're really sensitive to pain, it probably would have been like a one or a two. Um, like nothing screaming, but like definitely like hurt. I ended up taking the gold ring from BVLA I had in my cartilage or my helix, moving it into my anti-tragus, and then using my diamond hoop that I was usually wearing in my lobes as my helix on this side. You guys also know, if you've been following me, I don't have a lot of jewelry, so I am using my She Can Make Consciously Recycled Brass earring, which I did a giveaway with, and I'm turning it so that it looks like a bar along my ear. So it's still minimal, it's like still pretty cool and interesting. I'm definitely looking at getting another low piercing here that's gold, because brass I feel like I shouldn't be wearing all the time. I'm so happy about it finally being a hoop because it's been a goal of mine for forever. I'll leave the inspiration photo. But yeah, I'm so happy. I can't wait for it to heal more so that we can size down the hoop more. I can't speak today because um, it is still really big, the hoop. Like I want it to be pretty snug on my anti-tragus, but still really fun and still really excited about it now. But yes, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you enjoy my piercing videos. I always love hearing your comments and your feedback, so leave them down below as well. If you wanna see more piercing, jewelry, updates, videos, things like that, let me know as well. Um, but yeah, I've been pretty MIA, so I'm just figuring life out right now. Super busy, but happy, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know when it will be, but I have some fun content that I've shot, and if you haven't checked out yet, my store is live. www.inspiro.com. You can shop my thrifted pieces and my curated collection of vintage. The support's been amazing so far. I'm going to be posting more products on there soon. And I just did my market yesterday with like Sarah Dunk and all these amazing Toronto YouTubers, so that was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.